than last time. Oh and two, here it is. Hit hard on the ground at first. To second for one. On to first, not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Step. Stepping up to the plate, number 22. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And it's fouled away. Fisher aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Guzman will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So striding in, Diego Guerrero. Diego Guerrero. The 1-1. One, one. He's on the ground is short. Could be two. One there. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Stepping up now, Peter Galeski. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. Number 22. Shading to his right. Makes the catch. And that's the ball game. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three the final. The Hooks wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Minor League Baseball is digging in. J.J. Lowry, it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 1-1. One, one. One, one, one. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's this club going to need to focus on this evening, Mark? Yeah, Matty, a lot of professional at bats up and down this lineup. I know they're behind right now, but it only takes one the tone and get the boys going. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Number 22 ranges back, and he has it for route number two. now number 22 the average for him entering play sits down in the 250s from the stretch hit pretty well out to deep left field dill racing back but he has no chance to make the play it's off the wall and they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double well he's certainly not shy is he he goes up there looking to be aggressive and takes a big rip right here squares it up and lines it for a double that goes all the way to the wall. Great work out of him. Now at the plate. Batting ninth, second baseman, Brandon Damien. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Grounded to third. Come on, baby, you're up, you're up, you're up. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Now batting, Diego Guerrero looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. To short. 
And there are two away now. At the plate, Ken McCord. He flew out in his last at bat. Ken McCord. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Trying to pick things up where he left off, number 22. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out old ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in, and he's able to drive that for a nice single. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Pena. He looked to bounce Second. back, striking out Brandon his last time up. Pena. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Enrique Castillo. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now to the plate, Rob Pena. He singled his last time up. Rob Pena. The 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Here's the payoff pitch. Stand up right here. Looked Stand up. Toward it third. Up. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. No runs, a hit, two left. So coming to the plate, number 22. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Well, he had big aspirations behind that swing. Pretty obvious he was trying to put four runs on the board in a hurry. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Here it comes on one and one. Fouled away. The one two is laid off for ball two. Big A on third, Davis over at second, Fisher on at first with two down. Now a ball hit in the air and this looks like it'll get him out of it and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning striding in Fernando Sanchez First baseman number 35 Fernando Sanchez Bouncer up the middle throw gets him two down now in the box number 22 Two, two for three with a double on his line so far. Number 22. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Parrish is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. one. So digging in. Now, Brandon Pena, over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. In there, and it's 0-1. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Into the box now, number 22. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounded. 
short. Fielded cleanly on the second for the force out, and the side is retired. So no runs here. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Corpus Christi Hooks led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Roberto Raimo gets the win on the mound. Minor League Baseball now on the set to get his evening at the plate started. Julius Dill batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Strike taken. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. And to me, they just can't let guys get lead like that. Stepping into the box, number 20. Two. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. First delivery to him on the way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Parrish has the play, and that's the third out. So one run on one base hit. At the plate, Jarrett Parrish. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Runners off for second. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. This catcher's not known for his throwing it. Now at the plate, number 22. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sliders in for a the 0 and 1 delivery high in the air down the right field line Parrish on the move but he can't on, get there on, it's restore. over his head Pena is on his way home safe at the plate as they close the gap to three now hey that's nice execution right there swung through the first slider got it again Stayed tall, kept his hands back, didn't try and do too much, and delivered a nice base hit. Coming to the plate now, Enrique Castillo. Three runs already home, and a potential fourth standing at third base. The 3 2 pitch, softly hit toward the hole. Throw to first, not in time as the run is across to score. You know, D-Row, as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was it. Digging in now, Hans Gutu. Catcher, Hans Gutu. Round is short. Right to him. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Digging in and looking for more. Or number 22. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. First offering on its way. Popped him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Ready once again, Jarrett Parrish. Oh, right. Already two for two. two. He'll look to add on right here. Parrish. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And he two, chased two, one two. there. The stop. The throw. Hey now. Safe. Ready. Now batting, third baseman, Peter Golaski. 